So hello guys welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are absolutely fine and many of you are asking regarding the solutions basically the tutorial guides for all the modules and assignments for the five day intensive Kaggle challenge. So here is the video for all of you. First of all if you are new to this channel do like the video and just subscribe the channel. Now here we have to cover each module one by one. So the first assignment we'll be just doing is that first we'll be creating our uh, basically first we'll set our first agent using the Gemini and agent development kit basically ADK so right click over here make sure to check the mail of the today's assignment you must have received if you are registered now here you can see this is all the thing first thing you have to set up your phone number here they have mentioned that before you start you have to come to the settings option to click on it and basically you have to go to the settings and then verify the phone number now here click on copy and edit and now a new version of the notebook will be generated. So here the new version of the notebook is successfully generated. You can see. Wait for it to get updated. It's taking some time. So here is our first. First module. OK, now here you can see all these things are available. Now they have mentioned how you have to run the cells by clicking on this run button. All the things are here. Now here we have to set our API key. OK, how we have to set the API key. Let me tell you. So here you can see. The API key. Value we have to add. So for that we have to come to the Google AI Studio. So just. I think we have to just click on it and you will be redirected to the Google AI studio. Make sure you are signed in with the Gmail account. OK, so now here you can see an option to create an API key. I'm making it simpler for everyone to understand. So here you can see create an API key. Now you can name your API key uh, anything. You can name it anything. For example, I am using that module one. You can use any name. There is no any issue. And from here. There is just click on create project. You can name your project also. Like chapter one. OK, we have to add. So here we are just creating the projects. So what they have mentioned. Wait a second. What they have mentioned, we have to create an API key. After that, we have to just add the secret. OK. OK, let me show you. Now click on create key. Now this key is unique. Do not copy from the video. You have to follow the steps and create it. So here you can see this is our key. And here. So let's come over here and come to the add on section secrets. And here you can see add key. Now here it's asking for label. OK, so here label you can just type this. It's very easy. You have to just copy over here and for the value come over here and just click on it. Here you can see I think yes, you can click on this to copy it. Paste over here and simply just save it. So finally we have set up the API key. Now come over here and just run the shell. So here if you're not getting error, it will just look like green. It will be marked with green checkbox. And if you are watching from different country or want to just see the uh, want to just watch the video in different languages like Hindi or in different country language, then you can just check the settings and click on the audio and just select the language. Now wait for this. It's taking a bit of time.
so i think there is some cute kind of thing so let's wait for some more time so here you can see that after waiting for some time we are getting this green check mark if you are getting error then you have to repeat the step as we have done now the next step is that importing of ada key component so for that come over here click on it and just run it like this and if you want complete tutorial like this also till the fifth day so do comment down below i will make a video on all the tutorials so it's taking a bit of time do not worry about it so now finally you can see we have got the adk components imported successfully uh, basically output now we have to move to the next step basically we have to just define some of the helper functions so here are the helper functions you can see that all these things are available over here you have to run it and wait a second what we got so yes helper functions have been defined you can clearly see helper functions have been defined and now we will move forward to the next step okay so just wait for a few seconds so many of you are asking that what is basically helper function so if i show that basically it is just uh, you can see it is basically a utility okay which helps to make code more modular and testable okay it helps to just call the complex functions for example like validation in helping in validation etc or text formatting or also there are various data processing pipelines functions also so here this thing we have done now we have to just build our first ai agent with adk so basically what is an ai agent you might be thinking basically it is just like chat gpt you have used or gemini before or even the perplexity you have used multiple times so this is a ai agent so what you do when you write a prompt the agent just intercepts and then it just act on it and just promote the final answer like if you ask what is the time today so it will just list the time if you are asking specific time like what is the time for indian basically india or what is the current time for japan like this it will just prompt the response now here just come over here and simply run it so now root agent is also defined and now we have to just create a memory runner okay so this is also done now just come over here and run it so if you are getting this kind of error okay do not worry about this error we will fix it if you are getting this kind of error how we have to fix it i am going to show you so here you can see we are just doing this thing and runner has been successfully created root agent has been defined all the things are done let me rerun again so here we are getting again okay here we are getting again the error so let me fix now basically if you have got the error in such cases you have to refresh the browser and if you are getting resource error then try again later now let's run again and let's see whether we are getting error or not so basically we got the output you can see what output we have got we have got the output like it's just asking we are just running the chat gpt kind of thing and here it's just saying that the google agent development kit is a flexible module here just user is prompting this question which user who are the user we are the user and here the answer is from the basically the llm now here one thing we have to come over here and now come over here and run it so again it's just working you can see we got the output now we have to use the web interface so come over here and just run this command 
and here it'll be getting a custom URL. Okay, custom URL where we have to just open the URL and then you have to open like this chatbot and interact with it. So just wait for some time. Meanwhile, if you're facing issue, what you can do? Okay, what you can do? Come over here to the API key page. Okay. Click on this three dot and then just delete the key. Okay, just delete the key and then again create the key. Okay, just name your key and select the project. You can create a project line, new project also. And just I created the key earlier, you have to create it. Now here at the top, you can see. So basically agent is created. Then you have to just start from the beginning. Okay, now just come over here and just get our custom URL. Here you can see we are getting this. Now click on it. So it's showing some error. Do not worry about it. I think run the next shell. Okay, okay. Yes, here we have to just start the shell. So here, one more important thing. Do not share the API keys or anything with anyone just follow carefully all the tutorials and just wait for this to get completed and once the api is completed we'll just come over here so here you can see finally our chat app is live you have to come over here and just wait for some more time it's still loading so here you can see it's accessible over here so if we open this it's still not working do not worry about it okay so here it's waiting for application to start up so it's taking some time wait for some more time and then you can just test the app over there so just keep reloading just keep reloading again and again if we come over here wait let work let me see so yes the yes finally you can see in the jupyter notebook it's live so Let's test an example. What is the time? So if we hit it, you can see you cannot provide the time. So can you suggest? Google Arcade. So let's see whether it works. So here it does not have any information, but you can see we are getting the output. So this is the way we have completed the 1A module. Okay, you can see 1A module is successfully completed. Now the next step is that we have to save it. Okay, so just save it and just click on save. Now it's just saving over here. You can see it's queued. Now if you see the email, uh, I think so where was the email which i received so assignments okay so let me see what we have to do we have to just complete the first assignment and then this thing is done now we have done now how to share the assignment we will talk about it in later part of the video basically in the updated video so this is about the first module thank you guys have a great ahead